Okay, guys, got a new customer's box here, ready to go. Uh, this is a nice, simple box, uh, sprayed in the stone effect. Uh, I might be able to try and get you an idea of what it looks like. It's difficult on the camera because you can't really see the relief, but it's quite a nice effect. Um, it's got a nice, round, flared port there, and that is actually a pearl effect, which, again, the camera can't really make out. It's kind of like got a purpley and greeny shine to it in the light, it's really nice. Um, and that is tuned to 26 hertz, and that goes down inside the box and it curves round inside along um, to just sort of short of where the sub starts. Um, the sub which is going in this is a ground zero, uh, two and a half K. Um, it's dropped fucking, it will drop really nicely um, on the 26 hertz. The guy likes decaf and all the low stuff, so it should drop very, very nicely. Um, what I've got in here at the moment, it's got an old digital designs, 3510, um, which is quite old school, and it's also got some coil rub. It needs a recomb. Uh, it still works, but the coil does rub at peak excursion, um, and the, the dust cap is off, therefore I have to stuff the hole with a sponge so that they don't get air leaks. Um, and I just inverted mounted it, and I'm just going to try it out on my little home test setup over here. A couple of XR amplifiers, Landsar Power and Highs, Layer Tops, PSU, etc. Um, and we're just going to see how it sounds. Now this box will be far too big, so the sub will probably bottom out before it gets any 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 power. Uh, but I just want to see what the frequency response is like of the box. So let's give it a go. We're going to start off with a little bit of uh, BP rebase, loyal, my own stuff. We've got the uh, mids and highs on there, and the sub on here. So let's uh, crank this up a little bit. As I imagined there, I don't know if you could hear that on the camera because of the distortion from the bass, but bottomed out big time. <laughs> Coil hit the back plate, lovely jubbly. Um, <laughs> another BP rebase, show me. Let's crank it up. Another BP rebase, got Yeah, Usher. It's a nice old school tune, giving a much better bass line this time round. Go ahead and test the frequency response to this box and see where it starts unloading. Uh, see where it, the bottom note it can play is. I'm going to start around about the 50 hertz. Uh, I'm going to start at 67. Fuck it. Again, very nice. This is where the small sub will start to struggle in a box with a port this big. 30. Again, quite nice. Dropping down 28. Giving 
out bass tones, I reckon with the bigger sub this will be nice. Twenty hertz, guys. There is still some bass notes in there. Obviously, the sub is tiny and the box is massive, so it's mainly just moving against its own uh, suspension there, no air pressure. But that will definitely hit a nice twenty hertz with a bigger sub in there. Seventeen completely unloaded.